Welcome to Auto Delight, a channel for car enthusiasts, and today we're doing a build update on my 2004 Mazda RX-8. So far on the channel, you guys seen my 1995 Mazda RX-7 and my 2017 MX-5 RF. But I haven't really talked much about the 2004 Mazda RX-8. You guys got to see it in the DIY oil change video, but here's a quick history of this work in progress. In 2004, I bought this car brand new from, it came from Fremont Mazda. I ended up getting it at Menlo Mazda. Since then, this car was daily driven until about 2012. Uh, then I started driving my Mazda Speed 6 at the time. This car has seen a lot of track days. I would say about half the miles have been on a track and then half the miles have been because of driving. But this car has been through a lot again. Um, I This was the first car I really got to modify. And here's the list of mods that I have on the car so far. During the late 2013 going into 2014, I started experiencing major loss of power in the car. Uh, I got a couple of misfires that flooded a couple of times because the engine would die out on me. But little did I know that I started losing compression on the rear rotors. The car was drivable about till late 2016 where I would just be starting it up in the garage. Going into 2017, the car just sat in the garage, started up every couple of weeks but it wasn't drivable at that point. In 2018, I finally decided to put a rebuilt motor into the vehicle. I got the work done in Rotorsport of Santa Clara, and they did a great job. Paul did an excellent job, put some new modifications in, and the car is now street legal, drivable, and smart. So the car has got life back into it. My original goal with building up the RX-8 was to make it a functional show car or a pretty track car. Well, both of them work. The whole goal is to make it look nice but still functional on the track. And to be honest, I think that I'm still going to do the same thing is bring it back to a nice show car quality but yet still be functional on the track. So here we go with the build. One of the first things I'm doing to the RX-8 is getting it a little bit more modernized. The car is from 2004 and a lot of new technology did come out since then. So I decided to get away from the halogen fog lights and go with some LED fog lights. After a lot of research, I came across a brand new Morimoto, which I ended up purchasing. Nice things about the Morimoto fog lights is it's a direct fit. It's a plug and play system that easily fits into your OEM housings. It can pass DOT uh, inspection, and it's cool to know that they are they surpass the IP67 standard for weather resistance. So, pretty much these are as factory as you can get for being an aftermarket system. So here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the OEM fog light to the Morimoto fog light, and the Morimoto follows the OEM's shape and housing is pretty spot on. It makes it a direct fit, which is great because you don't have to modify anything. The only thing with the Morimoto, as you can see that it has a yellow film on top, is for those who want that yellow fog light, the fog light kit only comes in that bright white beam. So you do have to purchase the optional yellow film to make your LED fog lights yellow.
The reason why I have the bumper off the RX-8 was that I needed to modify my fog light brackets to reinstall the fog lights because the fog lights and the fog light bracket came into contact with my larger oil coolers. So that was fun to find out. Well, I went ahead and modified the fog light brackets. Um, unfortunately, I do not have a video for that. I did it yesterday and once I got into cutting it, I just forgot to record, so I apologize about that. But here are the fruits of my labor. Here's the first bracket I modified. As you can tell, it's not a straight line because I thought I can just remove specific areas of the bracket, which didn't work out. I ended up cutting, having to cut about a quarter inch off the whole thing anyway, just so I can fit everything without coming into contact with the oil cooler. Here is the other bracket that was modified. As you can tell, the edge cut was a lot cleaner just because I found out that I had to just remove a quarter inch off the whole bracket itself. After I did the cutting for both brackets, I went ahead and grinded the sides to make sure it's smooth. And then I used some gloss black paint, which I had lying around to cover the exposed metal, just so I don't have to worry about rusting or anything. I think it came out well. Maybe I need to get a new set of fog light brackets so I can do the cut and make sure it's even because my OCD is really pissing me off about this thing right here. So here we go. Here we're gonna go ahead and test fit, install the fog lights and get that all going. with the fog lights and the fog light brackets installed. I'm excited to see this on the car now. So let's go ahead and do that. After about two hours of struggling to get the bumper back on, finally did it. Oh man, it was terrible. As you can tell from the time lapse, it was fucking terrible. Anyways, everything's buttoned up. All the fasteners are in, everything's fully secured. I got everything all buttoned up. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the way the fog lights look and everything. Fog lights look great. Everything looks pretty good on this car right now, except for the hazy headlights. And I was about to do the headlight restoration today, but it's getting dark and it's getting cold. So I'll hold that off for tomorrow and actually do a DIY video on how to do a, the Meguiar's headlight restoration kit. So we'll call it a day right now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the quick little, uh, little video on the build of the RX-8. Um, before we go though, I do want to show you something that I just recently got in about two days ago. So let's go ahead and take a quick unboxing of that. If you guys haven't known, I've been waiting for new wheels for about close to a year already. Uh, they finally came in about two days ago, uh, which I'm really excited for. If you guys haven't seen my Instagram, I posted a shot of the new wheels on Instagram. But before we show you the new wheels on YouTube, let me show you what I used to have on the car, what I currently have on the car, and kind of what my preference is for the car. So, what I used to have on the car are these ones. These are the Advan Cruiser Series V, or Series 5. These were the nice, like, concave look, no dish, clean five-spoke wheels. I had them custom powder-coated black, Unfortunately, I believe one or two of the rims got a fracture on them and started leaking air, so I had to take them off the car. I had I got them secondhand from an NSX owner. Currently, the car is running the stock or the OEM R3 wheels, which are 19 by 8s plus 50 offset. And they look nice. They're made by BBS. They're pretty lightweight for 19s. And I mean, they're 
nice stock wheels. <laughs> but I love five spoke wheels, honestly, and that's why I bought these ones. The Advan GT wheels. So I got the 19 by 9 front and 19 by 10 rears, plus 35 offset all around. Let's go ahead and show you guys what these look like. So these are the rears. This is my first real new wheels, so unboxing it was a uh, was a joy to do. It's cool that they come with a wheel cover, or so I can actually put the wheel cover on those wheels. <laughs> Right. And these are the rears. So they do have a dish, if you guys can tell. Plus they got the concave look. There you go. These are semi-gloss black. Van Racing. And these are forged wheels. And here are the fronts. Again, all the wheels come with instruction manual I guess instruction manual I don't know I carry Japanese and they also come with the decal and these are the fronts so the fronts do have a slight dish nothing too aggressive but they do have a slight concave as well I don't have center caps for these yet because I wanted to see, I got to test fit them on the car and see if the hub is kind of sticking out a little bit. If it is, then I got to get the center caps that stick out. If they're not, then I can get the flat center caps for the car. So again, the spokes are a little bit larger than the Advan Cruisers. But man, I, these are, <laughs> these have been my dream wheels for the RX-8 ever since I first saw them. Originally they were designed for the GTR and they only had GTR sizes and they finally came out with sizes for everyone since they became so popular. So I am super psyched about them. Uh, I'll be test fitting them on maybe this weekend or maybe next week just so I can get an idea of what kind of center caps I do need for the car. Um, and then after that, I gotta measure out how much space I have. I don't wanna have to pull my fenders out for the RX-8, but if I can roll them even further, then I will. But I believe they should fit. I'm kinda worried about the rears, but it is what it is. I'll deal with it when it happens. And then I can buy tires and we'll get them mounted. Um, I was told by a good friend of mine I should ceramic coat it so I did inquire about ceramic coating and just waiting for the detail shop to get back to me so yeah all right well I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, updated build video I guess to say the least about the RX-8 um, as soon as I get more stuff for the RX-8 I'll post it up I'll do a build video for the RX-7 as well once I get parts going for it and get some parts on the car well hope you guys enjoyed if you guys like what you watch again definitely hit that like button and subscribe to the channel i love doing these kind of videos for you guys and i'm just hoping that you guys enjoy these videos all right well you guys have a great night peace
What's up guys? What's up guys? I promised you a night shot, so it is night. Let's go ahead and see what the fog lights look like. I hope that light turns off. Ooh, the beam's nice. Looking good. Let's go ahead and turn off the garage lights. Oh, those look pretty sweet. Awesome. Now Gotta get rid of this headlight haze. All right, guys. Well, I will see you tomorrow when I go ahead and do the DIY video.